everybody, this is Praxis. I'm up on the roof and what I'm about to do is put in the last panel for the day of the roof insulation that we've been putting up. If you look back off to your left, you can see that we've got pretty much all of the roof on the north side all finished. In fact, we've got everything that we can do until we put in a few more ceiling boards up on the, uh, up on the peak over there. Because uh, these things are go up in four foot increments and we're within four feet of the of the top. So uh, we've been working really hard today. Josh has been helping a lot. Right now he's down in the uh, lower level bringing more gravel in, compacting it, getting it ready for our floor slab. Uh, but uh, every time I had things all set here he would be running up whole sheets and you can see a bunch of them down on the ground there. Running up whole sheets to me and handing them up to me and I would be securing them in. So you're going to see me uh, put in the last couple of them. The first step, uh, well actually the first step beneath all this is I've been putting uh, borax down. I've been sprinkling it over the top of the wood and then putting down the, the sheets on top of that. And that's uh, something that'll try to hopefully prevent uh, you know, ants, termites and things like that from getting into the structure. Um, you know, It doesn't hurt the wood to put it in there so I've been putting it in. The second step is to put down some spray foam that, that seals up any leaks and also kind of bonds the panels together. One thing that I've been doing with the spray foam today, because the spray foam wants to get applied between 60 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit, is I've actually been putting it in the solar oven to try to get it up to temperature. When it, uh, it's actually getting a little cool now because the sun, as you can see, has gone behind some clouds and the oven's not that warm anymore. But uh, it goes kind of liquidy and kind of just gross when uh, when it's too cold and it's, uh, it's a little too cold. But I've been keeping it in the solar oven and, and when it's, it has been sunny, that's worked really well. So here's the last couple pieces. The reason I'm doing it in two pieces is just like from the video yesterday, trying to use up that scrap. Okay, one. I needed to fill in a 24 and three quarter inch void. Looks like I've got a little bit more of a void here, actually. Oh, because, uh... Oh, poof. You know what? I took it for granted that these things were uh, four feet wide. They're not. They don't go up all the way. Uh, that's okay. I can manage. I'll just fill in the void. That's a little bit of a surprise I didn't want to get for the last piece for the day. But it'll be fine. I'll just put some spray foam in there, and it'll be all good. Uh, the way that I secure all this stuff down is... I had them up here somewhere. Okay, here they are. Uh, these uh, lags, lim uh, timber screws. And uh, these are working out really well. I prefer them over nails because as I'm putting it in, I can tell whether I miss the stud underneath because there's only thread at the end here. So if it goes through, it will stop pulling down if I've missed the stud. So uh, the end of the day today, we're just going to kind of cover up this whole area. We we're supposed to get rain tomorrow, and then in, a, in about 48 hours, we are supposed to start getting snow. So I wanted to get this area as finished as I could ahead of the snow. The south-facing roof uh, still needs a decent amount of work, but at least that one's south-facing. So if we do get snow, that one's going to uh, melt off a lot easier than this one on the north side will. That's it. Thanks for watching.